Let's get this simple boy I started. All right, so look, let me tell you the things that's optional. The type of meats you use or whatever type of vegetables you want to put in. All of that is optional. So let's start off with what I'm using. I'm using snow crab. I have some king crab in here as well. And then I have um, some shrimp that's hiding right there. Um, I'm also going to use my sausage of choice. I use some corn. We love mussels in this house. So I do the easy way. Go to Walmart, Aldi's. Kroger, H-E-B, whatever grocery store you have, just buy some mussels that's already frozen. Best thing that you can get. We're gonna use brown sugar, chicken broth, a white onion, some butter. You need these oven bags, cause we're cooking in the oven. This is an easy recipe, guys. Some minced garlic, some onion powder, garlic powder, ground pepper, some hot sauce of your choice. I'm using Texas Peak today. You're gonna use some Worcestershire sauce, some Old Bay. I'm using my favorite Tony Shasheries. However, I'm using the no salt because everything else has sodium. We're gonna use some tomato bouillon, some shrimp and crab oil, some Creole seasoning. Start the show, celery salt. Let's go. All right, so since this is an easy crab boil recipe, we're not boiling anything on the stove. Um, we wanna get everything done within 30 to 40 minutes. Um, this is the most easiest recipe you can do. So right now, I have lined my baking sheets with foil, and that's just for an easy cleanup process. However, my other go-to are these Reynolds kitchen oven bags. I'm using the large size. Uh, depending on how much you want, you can use the large size or you can use the turkey size. That is the difference. So I have three bags out because that's how much I'm making enough for three people and everyone has their own request that's something that i do differently i ask people what do you want in your boil a lot of us are on uh, either low carb diets or we just don't want a, a lot of things that are going to fill us up and make us fat of course <laughs> so um we have elected to not put potatoes in this so we're only gonna um use corn is our carb so all i'm doing is opening up my bags as of right now and because i have a bigger tray right here and a smaller tray right here i'm going to put two on this one and then one on that one so i'm just opening those bags up getting them ready and depending on what each person wants that's how i determine what i'm going to put in each bag because everyone has their own preference. Um, I know, for example, one person in my household does not like shrimp. So, we don't put shrimp in her bag. Um, like I said, just, you know, ask each person what they want. And you determine about it. So, let's get all of these bags open. I have one bag, two bags, three bags. So, for right now, I know everyone wants crab. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put crab. I've already rinsed and washed my crab. Y'all, if y'all are buying crab, of course, it's pre-cooked. This is cooked. All of this is cooked. If you're buying this, be sure to scrub it, wash it, rinse it, and everything else. Because it has a lot of residue on top. And I have already done so. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know, please do that. That makes a difference when it comes to the taste and how you're cooking things. So, let's go ahead and just add, I only have three snow crabs, so I'm adding that in there. And now we have our king crab, and two of us is eating king crab, so I'm only adding it in two um, bags. Well, actually, you know what? All three of us are gonna eat it. I have another one, so we're gonna add it in all three bags. There we go. And then what's left is my shrimp. I have about uh, 10 pieces of shrimp, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do five in each. Because only two of us are eating that. All right. 
So I'm just evening everything out. You can see. And the next thing I put in my um, boils are anything that I'm not going to cook on top of the stove. So it would be something like corn. Like I said, the, the crab is cooked already. Whenever you see crab looking red like that, it's already cooked. You're just warming it up. Each person is going to get two pieces of corn. So I'm just adding the corn to the oven bag. It was frozen corn. This is supposed to be an easy recipe as I continue to say. And the next thing is the mussels. It's gonna evenly distribute the mussels. Everybody wants mussels in their bag. So I'm just putting a little bit of each in each bag. All right, there we go. So right now, that is the only thing that's going in these bags. I have the mussel, I have the snow crab, I have the king crab, and I have the corn. That's what's going to go in the oven, and it's only gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven type, because everything else we're gonna cook on top of the stove, and then we're gonna add it to the bag with our sauce and our seasoning. So we're gonna close these bags up, and how we do that is we just make sure that, you know, everything is good to go. I'm going to twist just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take these things. They actually come in the Reynolds oven bag um, box. So I'm just going to take this to seal the bag. Like that. I'm just going to pull it. Our bag is now sealed. So guess what? I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna fix this one up. Tie it around like that. Take the sealer and seal the bag. This recipe is so easy. I do this so much. And we go to these restaurants and we spend hundreds of dollars on a seafood boil when it tastes so much better when you make it at home. So that's two bags done. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do this last one. Go, twist it, and seal. Easy peasy. Okay, so what makes my seafood boil so amazing is that I do not boil my sausage. I fry it. Like you will make a breakfast sandwich, like you would just be, you know, eating something for dinner. A lot of people boil it. I do not. I fry it. So only two people want um, sausage in my house. So I am just going to go ahead and cut this in half, like so. And we're going to set the remainder to the side. And I'm going to cut it in pretty much bite sized pieces, something that we'll, we'll like to eat. Um, so I'm just cutting it just like this, about sizes like that. And we are going to cut it and then we're gonna fry it. This is why I do not put it into the boil, well not boil, but into the mix that goes into the oven because we're actually gonna fry this. So let's go ahead and go over to the stove so we can get this marinated frying with our seasonings and our sauce. Let's go. All right, so my skillet has heated with a little bit of olive oil. I am going to take the sausage pieces that we um, chopped up. I'm just gonna place it in the skillet. Like so, I always start with the top and the bottom and then I do the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fried up and you'll see the end result to that. Okay, so our sausage is done. I, guys, this gives it so much flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it and put it to the side and we are gonna start working on our sauce. Okay, so with that same grease that we used for our sausage, this is the part that's gonna give it flavor, guys. We're gonna chop up an onion, full onion, guys, and throw it in there and let it saute just a little bit. This is what gives your sauce some flavor. 
We're gonna put it on medium heat. And we're gonna let it saute just a little bit. When it's done sauteing, I promise y'all, I'm gonna come back to you and let you see the, the end result of the saute. I'll be right back. I have the onions already sauteed. I just added a little bit of pepper to it because I like spice. Um, but now we're gonna get started on our sauce. So let me take you to the stove. Okay, so I have my butter melting on the stove right now. It's two sticks of butter. I'm just gonna do the same spatula for the onions. And I'm just gonna mix it up until it melts all the way. All right, it's pretty much melted to be honest. So what I'm gonna do now is those onions that I cooked before. Guess what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just toss them into the butter mixture. Remember, we cook these onions in our sausage juice. And so that being said, it has a lot of flavor. Look at this, a lot of flavor. And I'm gonna crank up the heat just a little bit so I can get a little boil going on. A little boil. And then, because our chicken broth is, a kind of, it's kind of chilly. Because I, I brought it out the um, refrigerator, I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. You don't want the sauce to be too watery, but you want it to be just enough. There we go. So, I've added that in there and we're just gonna stir, 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 stir. Now, of the other seasonings that I'm about to use, look, add it to your liking. You know we don't measure over here. Okay, so I have let my sauce cool down just a little bit. This is the consistency that you want. It's so good. But again, guys, taste it. When you taste it, make sure that it's to your consistency, to your liking. Any recipe is not going to be everything that you want it to be. You have to make it to how you want it to be. Okay, so at this point, I have put my bags into a container you can get these from a grocery store i don't know if every grocery store has it but majority of them does have it and i have my sausages that i, I cooked and we're gonna put three in each because these are the people that's actually eating the sausage and oops sorry we we'll put three in each and then what comes next is our sauce. Oh my god. This sauce is so good. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Y'all gonna be addicted to this sauce. So all I'm doing is just stirring it on the side. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit over here. Like so. And I'm gonna pour a little bit over here. Like so. And just keep distributing it until all of it's gone. There we go. And so now what we're gonna do is with each bag, you're gonna just take the bag and pull it up. Remember we cut holes in it, so be careful. And you're just gonna shake it up. It's a little hot, you're just gonna shake it up to the consistency So that everything is coated, those mussels, those corn and the pie, the crab. I'm just gonna shake it up to the consistency. That's all I'm doing. Cause the flavor comes from the sauce that you make, believe it or not. So that's why you wanna make sure that everything is coated. So now that we have everything coated, I'm gonna get it plated and I'm gonna come back with you so you guys can see the end result. 
All right, so we have everything plated. We have mussels, king crab, we have our snow crab, we have sausage, shrimp, and corn. If you would like to add potatoes, a boiled egg, whatever you want, just go ahead and add that. But this is our seafood boil. Again, I've been trying to give y'all the easy recipes. I know how to do like the two to three hour recipes, but come on, let's be honest. Who wants to spend that much time in the kitchen? So let's go ahead and get into it. If you like this recipe, go ahead and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And bon appetit, guys.